Hey, today we're gonna to talk about escalation clauses and how to win the deal by putting in an escalation clause. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Jeff Quinton at thequintongroup.tv. Yes, today I'm your host. Today we're gonna to talk about escalation clauses. This is what I consider to be you know, one of the one of the benefits, one of the, uh, the strategies to use so that if you're a buyer looking to win the deal, meaning win the deal when, you ha when you're up against multiple offers, what we're gonna consider using is a escalation clause. So how does an escalation clause work? Well, there's several different ways to use it. Number one is we go ahead and write into the contract that you as a buyer agree to uh, basically pay X dollars above any other offer not to exceed X dollars. So in, in other words, if you're going in on a property, let's say the list price is $499, right? $500,000. There's multiple offers on it. There's four or five, six, seven offers on it. And you really like this property. Well, what we would do is we go ahead and offer a price. Let's just say we're offering full price of 500,000. In addition to that, we're gonna write a clause in there that simply just says, it's agreed and understood by all parties that the buyer agrees to pay $5,000 above any other offer presented to the seller, not to exceed, we put another number in, not to exceed $550,000, okay? What we're saying here is we're willing to escalate our sales price up higher and we're willing to pay 5,000 more than any other offer provided. Now, certainly the seller has to provide a copy of this offer, right? So we can bring it to you as a buyer and say, hey, they already have an offer right now, 530, you've agreed to go $5,000 more. Then you would escalate and then write the new deal at 535. See, this is the way that you have a shot at getting the deal. It's a way to let the seller know that you're willing to pay more than any other offer being presented, okay? That's number one. The number two right now way we're winning right now with escalation clauses is we're not putting a cap on it. I want you to think about this, okay? Now listen to closely. Where normally we would say we're willing to pay $5,000 above any other offer, we're just gonna say we're willing to pay $5,000 above any other offer, right? Not to Instead of not to exceed any other offer. That offer could be 700,000. We're gonna say we agree to pay 5,000 above any other offer. Obviously they gotta present that offer. Now, what's the purpose behind this? You're gonna say to me, hey, I'm not paying more than 550 for this home. I get it, right? There's an escalator, there's a cap to what you wanna pay. But the key right now is in this situation when there's multiple offers, whether it's two offers, 10 offers, 20 offers, and by the way, there has been 20 offers this year on homes. When there's that many going on and you don't put a cap on it, you, the buyer, are gonna get last look. So in other words, you're gonna get that last look because you're willing to pay $5,000 above any other offer. You're gonna get the last look and guess what? That seller comes to you and says, here's my highest offer, here it is. You're willing to put $5,000 above it at that point, you can make a decision. Do I wanna go ahead and move forward and sign off or do I not? In either case, it puts you in a position to win the deal, to win the home, put you in a position because you wrote in the escalation clause. So anyway, hope this is helpful. Um, any questions you have uh, about any and all real estate, give us a call, 609-398-5333 um, or email me, jeff at thequintingroup.com. Thanks so much for watching.